I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you how to use my digital barn wood floors and walls that I sell in my Etsy shop. I'll include a link below so if you'd like to purchase these products that's where you can find them. First of all I got to photograph a wonderful old barn and I turned all the backgrounds and all the different floors into different colors and used them with my own portrait photography business. I loved it because I no longer had to buy expensive flooring, this different walls that were made out of different woods. They were difficult to store. They were heavy. They were also very expensive. Now I did it all digitally. Well, now I'm going to sell these in my Etsy shop so that other photographers can do the same thing. And I'd like to show you how to do that. First of all, this is what one of the walls looks like. And this one's an aqua. It comes in different shapes and different sizes of the barn wood. I also sell the floors that are uniquely angled like a floor. And they also have a baseboard on them. These come in different colors and they are PNG files, meaning that this upper part is going to be clear so that you can add your own wallpaper to the background. You can add one of my barn wood walls to the background or just any background that you'd like to use. But this is how my floors come. I'm now going to show you how to do this. I start out with this picture of the little boy that I photographed at the end of my garage. Let me show you what this makeshift studio looks like. Isn't that crazy? This is right at the edge of my garage. This is just a white piece of poster board. We put a white blanket down and there I am photographing her. It's that simple. You don't have to have a major studio. Actually, the edge of a garage without direct sunlight is the most exquisite light. So you really can't do much better than this quick makeshift studio. So go ahead and take your picture that way. And let's get back to this cute little guy and that's exactly how I photographed him. Notice that you can kind of see a little difference between the white poster board and the floor and where that's going to be. Let's first of all add our white barnwood wall and just click on it with your left mouse up here in your palette and drag it out. Now go up here to your move tool back here with your left mouse and while click and while holding down drag it right into this picture. Now you don't need this anymore go ahead and click out of it. Now you're on your move tool so you can move this around and we're going to want to line it up with the edge uh, that's already there. You can go ahead and stretch this out. If you want wider planks make it wider however you want to do it but you really do want to line this up with that line that's already there. So there we go. Now we go up to our blend modes where this says normal, click on that. In the drop down menu, click on multiply. Now you can see him right through, through there. Oops, I gotta go back here, multiply. And now we're going to add um, a layer mask. Well, first of all, we have to apply it. Go down, add a layer mask to the bottom of your layer palette, this little square with a circle, add a layer mask, click on that. And you can see your layer mask is this white square in this layer. And since it's white, we're going to want to use a black brush over here. And to get to this, you can toggle back and forth between the white and black, and you want your black on top. Go up here, click on your brush tool. Go up to this drop down menu and make sure you have a soft edge brush. Click on that. You want your opacity at 100% and your flow at 100%. And now you can, we're going to paint this wall off the little boy. I'm going to enlarge my, my brush by clicking the right bracket key. If you need to make yours smaller, use the left bracket key. That's next to the P on your computer keyboard. Click down with your left mouse and while holding down, you can paint with it and that's going to remove that wall off of his body and face. And you can make your brush smaller to go around the edges and you want to take your time and do a good job with this. I'm going to go kind of fast today because you don't want to sit and watch me paint this off of there. But be careful around the edges. 
and let's say you make a mistake. Oops, look at that. I've goofed it up. Very easy to fix. Just, you have a layer mask. Go over here, grab your white brush. Now you can come back in and you can get this back with your white brush. So that really helps you to fine tune this really carefully. Go back to the black and get this all off of here. I'm going to do this very quickly. So let's enlarge my brush and just kind of go in here. I wouldn't do this if I was really wanting it to look nice, but that's good enough for these purposes. And look how great that looks. It looks like that wall is really behind him. So now let's add the floor. I have it right here. I click on it and drag it out of the layer palette. Go over to my move tool, grab it with my left mouse and while holding down, drag it right into the picture. X out of this. And now same thing. You want to match this up right with the edge of the other one. And if, if it's not long enough, you can stretch it. You can pull it wider if you want the planks larger. You just really want to have that lined up with the bottom of the other one. Let's see if that looks good. You can tell when you go over. Oh, let's see. If we go over to multiply, if that's lined up right, let's make sure that we go ahead and apply that. And you can move this around still by going back to the move tool if yours isn't aligned correctly. So now we do the exact same thing. We go down here, create a layer mask, grab our brush again, and now we're going to erase it off the lower half of this. And once again, you want to go in and really make sure you go get right up to the edges and do a nice job. I, I'm not doing a great job. If you can't really see the details right here, go ahead and lower the opacity down. Now you can see his little gym shoes and get a really good edge on that. And once again, I'm just doing mine pretty quickly because I want to show you what it looks like. And then remember to bring your opacity right back up again. And even though I have a little problems every in some different areas. That still gives you the idea. Isn't that amazing? He now is sitting on this floor and let's look at before. No wall, just whiteness and that quickly you have a really nice photography set just by doing it digitally. You didn't have to stock all these walls and floors and carry them around. It makes it so much easier. Let's look at a few more examples. This one same thing shot this in front of my garage look at it there's a birthday cake here there's a big napkin on the floor and i was still able to slip the floor underneath and it was so easy to do i this one i added some wallpaper and look at this cute set compared to me i just shot it by my garage let's go to this one look at same thing this little boy photographed edge of my garage all white the, here we added the wall background we just left the, the bottom part of it as the, the fluffy blanket. Here we added that cute floor. It, it's so quick and easy. Here was a birthday set. This shows you how stark this, this studio was. Just this blanket on my cement floor and this white board behind it. And now she's in this pretty birthday party set with pretty wallpaper behind it. So go ahead and use your imagination and really enjoy these products.